What's up, family? This is the bull here. This morning, I decided that I was gonna transplant my dwarf pear tree. I had it way down in the back. I didn't, I, I put it there because I didn't know really where I was, it was gonna be its final destination. But I decided that I was gonna transplant it over here. Now this, this dwarf pear tree grows to about 15 feet tall, right? but I'm only gonna allow it to stay about six and a half feet tall. That's where I want it to grow. I'm gonna grow this, I'm gonna grow this pear tree. This pear tree is called a Pyrus communis, and I'm going to make, the, I'm gonna turn this tree into an espalier. That's how it's gonna grow. That's how this tree's gonna grow, espalier. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the branches that and not going. I don't want it to grow like that. So I'm going to remove all the plant. I want. I want this branch right here. Right. This is going to be my lower branch right here. It's going to grow just like that. And I'm gonna. I'm not going to do it today. But it will be in the video. I'm going to um, plant it just like that. It's going to grow just like that. This branch. Where is it? Yeah. This branch right here. So you see right here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna remove this 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 piece of branch right here. It's not gonna be in place. So let me move the camera a little closer. All right, this is a little better view here. This this is gonna be my lower branch, right? It's gonna be trained to grow just like that. This branch up here on the top here, it's gonna be my secondary branch. It's gonna look sort of like just like that. It's gonna be running on a wire. All right. This branch right here. And when you're doing this, you gotta be very careful, right? Because you can easily, easily cut off a branch that you don't wanna cut off, right? So, that's gonna be my secondary branch, right? Like that. This one right here, it's gonna go. I'm gonna take that off, all right? This is gonna be my secondary branch. It's gonna be just like that. That's why I don't need that other branch. This one right here, this one right here is gonna be my main leader going up. So this one right here, right behind it here, coming off. All right. Looking a little drastic, right? But the uh, the tree will look great in years to come. All right. So my main leader here, this right here, you go. This branch over here is gonna go in this direction on a wire, going in that direction. This one back here in the back here, I'm gonna train it and it's gonna be the secondary branch that you see, it's gonna be growing like that. All right, my main leader, this branch right here, go. Don't need it. 
All right. This little teeny branch right back here at a later time may be the branch that goes up on top going that way. So we're gonna leave that alone. We don't want no branches growing that way and we don't want none growing toward me. Want everything growing lateral, all right? So, so I have it. I have everything just how I want it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie, tie this to this temporary bamboo here to hold it, hold it firm. So I'll be back as I continue and I'll show you how it's coming along. I just love having this pond that I have here, you know what I mean? Give, feed, feed and give my trees a nice drink right from the pond. Now I'm tying this tree here, right? But it's loose so that, you know, I'm not choking the tree at all. All right, so he's in nice and loose there. So just to hold him steady there so the tree will form itself in a nice upright position. Now this branch in the back, I just tied it right there because this one here, even though, like I said, I'm not gonna let it grow that way, right? This one right here, it's eventually gonna, I'm gonna bend it, right? And it's gonna be my top branch that's gonna grow laterally that way. All right, so I'm gonna leave it just like that for right now. I'm gonna go and, and, and pick up a few uh, pieces of lumber so I can make a reinforcement down on that end there and so that I can run my wires and stuff. So I'll be back and we will continue.
the post is all cemented in. Tomorrow, I'll run the wires and I'll start espalaring the branches. Until then, I'll check you all out tomorrow. Ooh. 60 fat and out of shape, but I still got it, baby. <laughs> Let's get back to God. All right, so. Good afternoon at this time, it's the next day. I am going to be running the wires today. The uh, post I put up yesterday is nice and sturdy. And uh, let me see. I'm going to be putting the screw, I, um, what I did, <coughs> I put a hole right through the two by four, right? Actually, these are two, uh, two by two by fours, right? But it's a it's a four by four because I put two of them together. All right, and uh, I drill the hole right through it, and stuff. So that way, when I can pull the wires, they'll be nice and uh, stiff. I'll put the screw here. Uh, just let me see. Put it just above it. And that's just so once I pull it through the hole, then I run the wire through the other side, then I can anchor it there and have it stay in place. Let me do one on the other side. Can't remember that fast if I did it above it or below it. I did it above it. I hate working with this uh, galvanized wire here. It's always pain in the foot. Right, so I ran it through the through the hole there and I'm gonna bring it through the other side here and just wrap it around the screw there. That way when I pull from the other side it'll be nice and stiff.
All right. Nice and stiff. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Good. All right, here's my, here's my second wire. I'm gonna put three levels of wires, but for right now, I'm only gonna put, I think two levels, because uh, the way the tree is right now, I'm still waiting on branches to develop, so that um, I may be able to get one branch up there, but we'll see, we'll see um, as I go. But I think I'm only gonna end up with two wires done today and i'll have those all tied up and then i'll probably just be waiting on the next uh branching from the the fruit tree as it develops and you just got to be patient that's one thing about when you're doing a spalering a, uh, a fruit tree, I mean, you can't do it when you want. You have, to, you have to wait for the tree to branch out and to give you that branch, that the, the one branch that you're looking for that uh, comes out in the right position so that you can have the design of the shape of the fruit tree that you want. gonna make a little anchor on the wire so I have something that I can pull because I can't just do it with my hands because it hurts. <laughs> That's good for now anyways. It's pretty tight. It's not as tight as, nah, actually it's, they're both about the same, not bad. Um, once, if, anyway, as the tree and the branches mature, I'll be having to readjust those anyway. So, for right now they're perfect. All right, 
I just realized that I'll be able to do all three today because this branch over here has, I, I am glad I didn't cut it off. It has the little teeny one right here that I could bring that in that direction. Yeah. And then the leader can still stay there for future, you know, just in case something happens. All right, I like using this flagging tape here because it has it has gift to it. Um, as the branch swells and gets bigger, it won't strangle the branch. It it, it has gift to it. I wish they, uh, when I went to pick up this flagging tape some time ago, they had ran out of the green one. I like the green one, you know, because it blends in with the, uh, with the leaves and all that. that. That's what it is. So now on here, right, as the branch grows, like every foot or so, as it grows about a foot, then I'll keep tapering it down. Now what'll happen, right, on these branches here, right? Now you have your tree, right? All shaped up the way you want, right? Now what'll happen on these branches here, they'll, after some time, they'll put out fruiting spurs. And you just can maintain your fruiting spurs, keep them clipped to the, to where you want them at, you know, to a, you know, to a good size, and then you can just, your fruit will just hang off right there, baby. You can just pick your fruit right here, and you don't have to be climbing up no tree like a monkey. All right, this is good for older folks. This is good way for uh, people with disabilities, people with limited space. Now I, I put this fruit tree, this fruit tree will grow, what, 15 feet tall. Some of them grow 30 feet tall, right? Then branches out 20, 30 feet, right? Take up your whole garden. Right here I have this fruit tree right up on this fence line here. All nice and decorated, looking good out of, out of the way. And it'll still put out a bountiful of fruit for you. And just come. Now, these ones I'm starting now, right? I've had uh, Espala Air uh, uh, plums. I've had uh, Asian apples all grown on fence lines in the past on my other property. Uh, so this is a good way to do it there to, uh, if you have limited space, and like I say, if, and if just, that's how I want it. You know, I can climb up a tree, you know what I mean? I can still climb up a tree, but I don't want to. <laughs> right? You don't want to see the bull come tumbling down off a tree, off a ladder, trying to get some apples.
now what happens with these branches, right? After they're uh, stretched out and uh, tied down, after a while, what happens is those branches just stay in that shape. You know what I mean? If like I have, I would take this off after a year or two, pull it off, the, that branch would just stay just like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all tied up and then I'll come back and I'll show you how she's looking. All right, guys, all wrapped up here. Let me, uh, I'm gonna put a nice layer of wood chips underneath here. I'll, actually, I'm gonna make a continuous bed from all the way from down there that I already have a section done. I'm gonna run, run it all the way this way down to the next post and I can get some brassicas and stuff like that growing underneath there. Um, but let me show you here how she turned out. All right, like I said, I wish I had some of that green flagging tape. So up here, as you can see, this is my little main leader still going up here. And I have this little branch that's coming out here right now. She's short right now, but, you know, give her a couple years and she'll run down that way. Then I got this top one there. Down here in midway, got this other branch. Then down here, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on one of these spurs here to put out a shoot there, or put out a branch, and then I'll start training it to go down the wire that way. Down here, down on the bottom, branch is running down, second branch going over, and like I said, this little teeny one there, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. God bless, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you on the next one.